Hello everyone and welcome to Sotomayor TV Sports or Soto Sports Net. I'm your host, Mr. Tommy Sotomayor, and this is has something to do with sports and it has something to do with hair hats. So it's probably you probably gonna find this one in a lot of places. It was sent to me by Mr. Robert Mays, and Mr. Robert Mays emailed me. He said, please take a look at the woman in the background of this video. It said, this interview is from Johnny Manziel, Johnny Manziel's Pro Day, which was today. He went out, and for those who don't know what a Pro Day is, he goes out and he shows off his skills, throws the ball, and whatnot. It said, please note what's going on behind him. I want you guys to take a look at this. Just take a look at this. I didn't make it up. This is real. This was on ESPN today. <laughs> Roll that beautiful hair hat zone footage. Johnny, there were eight NFL head coaches here today to watch your pro day, including uh, five who have picks in the top ten. You took the unusual measure. Both of these guys have seen a lot of pro days and have never seen a player before his workout address the coaches and the GMs and the scouts. Why'd you do it? What'd you say? I just wanted to welcome him. College Station is a tough place to get to sometimes. I mean, you got to go to Houston, got to go to Dallas, got to go somewhere around and get here. So more than anything, I want to speak on behalf of me and, and the six guys that we had here and thank them for coming out. It's kind of tough to tough to get here. So to come out and watch us perform and showcase our skills, I just wanted to thank them and, and hopefully they, they enjoyed the day. That's all I wanted to say. You work. Uh, I was just telling, telling these guys, I've never seen, uh, never seen anybody trot out on the field on Sundays when it's time to play a game um, and, have, and have shorts and, and a t-shirt on. It just didn't make any sense for me that uh, I'm a guy, I don't have anything to hide. I, I felt like I could come out here and, and make any throw that these guys asked me to. Um, and why not do it in shoulder pads? Maybe it'll uh, change the way things are done from now on. Uh, let's hope so. Yeah. For me, uh, I'm, I'm laying a good foundation right now um, to try and, and push my life into the right direction of being a professional. The day that I decided to, to not come back to this wonderful, to wonderful place at Texas A&M, I decided to be a professional, and, and you have to take it serious. From the guys I talked to, whether it's Michael Vick, texting Peyton Manning, or Tom Brady, whoever these guys is, saw what it takes to, you, you hear from them, and when I ask these coaches, why are these guys so great? What does it take? Because they go in there and they put in the hours and they do what it's necessary to do it. And for me, I wanted through this process to take this as serious as possible, still continue to have fun with the process because it is a great game, but at the same time, take it very serious, put the work in. I've never been more committed in my entire life. For me, now there's another jump. We get another off season to do the same thing. So hopefully when I come back, continue to hone in on that game, working on ball security, keeping both hands on the ball, making sure that, that, that we've seen that that's an issue on tape. Let's short up. It's Look, I'm not trying to be funny, but have you noticed that black women are willing to make straight fools of themselves out in public? If you date a black woman, here's what you're doing, black men. You're saying to yourself, I'm willing to be made a fool of by everyone around me that might have an opinion or that their opinion may hold some type of value in my life. Now, I'm not telling you to worry about what other people think. But what I'm telling you is that the majority of black women are attention whores and they will get attention by doing stupid crap just so somebody will look at them. There is no reason for a woman to walk out of the house dressed up like Reron Berry in the outfit and having her hair with all them pieces of weave in it with a Texas A&M clip in it with the hands on like Madonna, like she finna start pop locking. And I mean, who? It's not a 20 year old who's trying to set a fashion trend. This is a 40 something year old woman. I'm assuming she's 40 something. And she left her house looking like that on purpose and make sure she gets in the camera. Now, the white girl is sitting up there and you got a, you got an option. And, and it's like it's funny. Life presents you with options when you don't know you have options. If you're sitting there and you're watching this as men subconsciously, and that's probably what happened to the person who was watching this. I bet they were thinking to themselves, if you watch me enough, your subconscious will become your conscience you will start to see the same thing. I have women and men telling me, before I watched you, I didn't pay any attention. Now I can't ignore it. Apparently what happened with uh, a Bob, I'm gonna call you Bob, Robert Mays. Apparently what happened with him was the same thing. He said, what the hell is going on behind Johnny? Normal person would have missed that. 
Now you look and you see the black woman and you see the white woman. You see the black woman with this ridiculous hairdo, too old to be wearing what she wearing. Even if she was young, she shouldn't have been wearing it unless it was the 80s. And then you see the white chick. And you just keep seeing these two contrasting entities by each other. Don't know if they set it up on purpose or not. But don't you understand the subliminal part of that as a man if you're watching that and you see that crap? Again, this was today. This is not Photoshop. This is how that woman got out of the house. This is how she walked out, felt like she looked pretty good and made sure she got inside the camera shot so the world could see. This is the majority of our women today, fellas. Enjoy it. I'm Tommy Sotomayor. This is Soto Sports Net.